All right, guys, we're back with Alex for day, The Art of Simple Golf. How you doing, man? Not bad, not bad. It's 12 days after his multi-unit hair grafting. Probably feels like uh, six months. A little bit longer, but, but I'm eager. So yeah, there yeah. We, go. we are 12 days after his multi-unit hair grafting procedure. And normally this is a 10-day follow-up, but we had a public holiday. One of the reasons for this video and one of the biggest concerns guys have after a procedure is how am I going to look? How long am I out of work? Socially, how long before I can get back into it? This is a great example. Now, if you remember the before picture, and Harry was wearing his hair before the transplant, what we did is we transplanted through this frontal forelock area. And look, he's got some impact through this area because we transplanted through it. We have to do that to allow for future hair loss going evenly through the existing hair. But if you look at this, and you actually style the hair, and you look at the crown here, just come down a little bit more, you can see the crown. It looks perfect. You can still see the transplant here. Some of them have shed with the little crust or scabs, but essentially, for all intents and purposes, it's a similar footprint, pattern, look to Harry was pre-transplant. So no matter how you style the hair, you're kind of able to pull off that same look. Now look, for sure, if you look in the mirror and you point out your before picture and after picture, you look at it and go, yeah, I'm a little thinner up there. But Joe Public doesn't do that, no, right? No, in a quick glance, it's negligible. Yeah, but this looks textbook, absolutely perfect. Now from this point moving forward, a couple of things. The modalities to maintain what's not transplanted, right? As prescribed by the physician, the finasteride and Rogaine, they're not prerequisites, but they're part of the global approach. They give you the best long-term impact. I'm an example. 15 years post-transplant, one procedure, done those modalities, they'll help maintain what's not transplanted. The transplant here is, is permanent. Let me show you how good the suture lines are. This suture has just been removed. You can see, literally, the hair looks like it's coming back through the little scar, and the scar is where the little bit of mild crusting still remains. That's where the tissue's brought back together. This is what we call a multi-unit hair grafting procedure with a trichophytic closure. It's a closure where we encourage the surrounding hair to come back through the scar. So the objective for the patient is that he can wear the hair shorter than what he used to be able to. Now this is taken from what we call the safe zone. The safe zone is the area where the hair is genetically permanent. So we move it to the top, it maintains that genetic permanency. He's still going to be a little bit numb above and below the suture line, and that will dissipate. When he comes back for his four-month follow-up, essentially, this will present as a very, very, very pencil-thin line that, quite frankly, is going to be really hard to find. So, guys, he's doing really great. Follow him on the website at We Grow Hair Indy. The Art of Simple Golf. Check him out. The guy's amazing. He is going places with his golf coaching business. It is really awesome. Check it out online and follow him and uh, follow the little videos he's been doing for it. It's go. great delivery, really good guys, check it out.